How many of you have trouble remembering names? It's pretty much why everyone came today, isn't it? <laughs> remembering names is the number one memory complaint of American adults. And why? Because if you think about it, remembering a name is kind of like having a little pop quiz for your brain. When you hear a name, you get it. You have to get it quickly. If you miss it, you've lost it. And you never know when you're going to be asked about it again. And suddenly you're asked about it, and you're like, oh my god, that name. I thought I had it. But you never learned it. So some simple strategies for remembering names are, number one, repeat the name. When you hear a name, say it again, OK? Or make a connection to the name. So that if you hear someone's name, you might do this automatically. You make an association between the name and something that you already know. So if you meet someone named Florence, you might think of anybody? Florence Nightingale, right? Or Florence Henderson, or the city Florence, making a connection, giving meaning to this new information. Um, and there's a lot of techniques like that. I teach a number of different ones because everyone needs to find the one that works for them. But there are a number of strategies like that that we can use. Another one is to make a movie. So people who are visual might like to use a, a kind of visually based technique. In the book, I use the name Frank Hill. I haven't met Frank Hill yet at all these lectures. But you could make a movie in your mind's eye, like a little YouTube video, where you might see Frankfurters marching over the hill. And maybe you'll hear the Oscar Mayer tune in the background as you see this image in your mind's eye. And as silly and funny and odd as it is, it's actually going to help you remember it better. And it's a really great creative strategy to give the information more meaning and to get you to pay better attention to it.